Blah. Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Little Scientist Storytime, a story time geared at one to three year olds about a science, technology, engineering, or math concept. Today, we're gonna talk about animals' homes. Let's get started with our bubble rhyme. If you wanna repeat after me, hello bubbles, come and land, right in the middle of my hand. Nice. And now I'm going to read a book to you called Where Animals Live, and it's written by Brenda Stones and Thea Feldman, and I'm reading it with permission from Kingfisher Publishers. This is a long book, and I'm not going to read every page because that would make it too long. Home sweet home. Wild, every wild animal needs a place to live. The place an animal lives is called a habitat. A habitat is an animal's home. A seal's home is by the sea. Some animals live in nests, in trees. Some animals live underground. Let's visit more animals at home. Foxes. Where do foxes live? They live in fields and woods, but you might not see them. They sleep during the day. Foxes hunt for food at night. Sometimes they come into towns to look for food. You might see one then. Moles. Look at these piles of dirt. Where did they come from? From a mole's home. A mole lives underground. He digs his home and tunnels too. A mole's home is called a burrow. How does a mole dig a burrow? with a sharp claws and teeth. And we're gonna pause the book there and sing a song. And we're gonna sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the spout again. Do you have your great big spider arms? The great big spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider crawled up the spout again. Nice. All right, now let's read about some more animals' homes. Squirrels. Squirrels live in trees, too. They live in woods, parks, and gardens. A squirrel climbs a tree with her sharp claws. Her tail helps her to balance. A squirrel builds a nest in a tree too. It is called a dray. A dray is made of twigs, leaves, and warm moss. And there's some baby squirrels sleeping in a dray. Swallows. Some animals live in two places. These swallows live in one place when the weather is warm. When it gets cold, she flies away. She flies to her second home. It is in a warmer place. Every summer, the swallow flies back to her first home. She comes back to the same nest. Spiders. Spiders live everywhere except in Antarctica. Some spiders spin webs, but a web is not a home. It is a trap to catch food. Spider webs can be many different shapes and sizes. The end. And an activity that you can do at home, a little craft you can make, is you can make your own spider web with just a paper plate and some yarn and just cut out a, some notches around the plate and then string your yarn and you could draw a little spider to go in your spider web. All right, and now it's time for our goodbye bubble rhyme. Can you repeat after me? Goodbye bubbles. Time to go. I will help you with the blow. Goodbye, thanks for coming to Little Scientist Storytime, and we'll see you next week.